they've lifted the county ban so you can recreate outside your county. I'd heard that they were actually ticketing people in Wasatch County. That's why I've not been to Strawberry in two weeks. The ice was just barely coming off two weeks ago, so I figured we'd have a ton of open water, and you'd, we don't. So we brought our boat. He brought his kayak. I'm here with Mr. Stone. I brought my pontoon boat in my in my ghetto truck, my old truck. There's very little open water. Just right here, there's a little bit clear at that point where we were fishing last year. We're gonna hike clear around and try it, but. Our boats are useless, so unless we go to the ladders, who knows what we'll end up doing, but um, we are gonna give it a try since we drove up this way. Or so we're gonna hike all the way around to that point with some leeches, see if we can catch some stuff. So anyways, let's get going. Probably gonna have to use the rock trick because it's just barely frozen over the last 10 or so feet on the edge of the ice. Get out where you want to get right on the edge as we're cruising by. Oh, this is funny. We had to, I just had to throw some rocks to break it out. And I threw my line and I was caught and I went to go throw another rock and all of a sudden one came out and snagged it. It was only like six inches deep, a leech. Yeah, let's see, probably. What do we got? I'm guessing a cut. He's all right. He's not huge, but I'm not gonna complain. I say that all too much. Yeah, a little cut. Decent cut, actually. But I forgot my big net, so. Yeah, it's pretty cut. Come here, dude. Yeah, yeah, nice. Nice cut. Using the black and red balanced leech. And the same one I was using on the ladders a couple weeks ago. Black and red is usually my go-to color during the ice off. I used to use what they called just uh, oh, what is it? A semi-seal black and red, but thanks to the guys who work fly fish food. Tipping you off to their diamond dub, black and red. I don't know, it's like the same color, but it definitely seems to produce more. So, anyways, let's get this guy out. Let him go. He's really... So, yeah, thanks, buddy. Fish number one. Got my little small channel. And with my bad cast. There we go. Still caught on the ice. Ooh, fish number two. Take a nose, just sink you sinking. Another another decent cut. You want this magical spot, Dan? Try to knit him. I'm just gonna let him go without I'm trying to touch him. Another decent little cut. Oh, hey, buddy. I was in there. Hook me in. Oh, nice rainbow. You can tell it's a rainbow because he's jumped out of the water like three times. That's why I've tried to get my camera on. Dan over there just had a good one on too, but it came off. Yeah. A good rainbow. It's 
There's fish three you landed if I landed and I had one other on. Gotta love ice off. Oh yeah, he's a chunky little bow. Say like little, he's actually a nice rainbow. Fatty. Let him go. Oh yeah, yeah he's fat. Look at that guy. Go away, buddy. Thank you. Ah, you gotta love ice off. Do the whole cast on the ice and then slowly drop it off the edge. Technique, we've gotten a couple hits that way. This is not one of those times. Oh, oh shoot. That was the bottom. That was a fish. Probably can't see that far away, but Dan got one finally to stay on. Well, I guess I shouldn't speak too soon. Is it a cutthroat or a rainbow? It's He's using a balanced bruised leech. That's good. Yeah, that's a good cut. Well done. Going back to where we started. It's getting cold. Trying to snow and get windy. Put on the old rain jacket. It's about out hot before, now it's just cold. How much a windproof rain jacket, how much it warms you up. Just keeping the wind out. Now I'm freaking toasty. Toasty, toasty. Doing the whole slide the leech off the edge of the ice and let it sink. Took it you know, about two seconds after it dropped it off the edge of the ice. Don't know what. Yeah, I think it's a cutthroat. Yeah, nice cut. It's a nice one. Chunky. Oh yeah. That's a that's a chunky cut. Yeah, I think so, just so I have something. Oh, that's a good, good, good solid cut. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. It's a chunky one. Yeah. Not a bad, not a bad cut for ice off. That's yeah. awesome. That's a good one. Yeah. Away, buddy. Nice. Thank you. The sun came out and instantly we were getting into fish. Oh. Yeah. Rainbow. Yeah. Oh, nice. I guess you don't really need them. That's a good one. He's all right. Huh? That's how you're supposed to let them go. See that? No way, buddy. <laughs> nice. Well done, Dan. Yeah, it happened just like that one. But you said. Was it off the edge of the ice? Yeah, and I just let it kind of go down and then I watched the pit go. <laughs> nice. But it well, the weather went from cold to sweaty.
and calm. <laughs> yeah, you can really see now. Right on the edge of the ice. So come off ever so slightly. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Right on the edge of the ice. So come off ever so slightly. Yeah, me too. <laughs> well, it died off over where we were. Like we went like an hour and a half, and nothing. Talked to a bunch of other people, and the same thing for them. It just died off. And we brought the boat, it's the only place I had enough open water from back in the water, so the third time here. Um, down on the pontoon boat, it's going to be a pain because it's mega windy, but Dan's already out there. Hopefully he's getting into some fish. Looks like those guys on that drift boat over there, and they have not caught any at all, so. I don't know, hopefully get into some. I'm hoping. That's, it was fun, and then all of a sudden it just died, so. Alright, we are off. There's a lot more open water now here at the ladders. So. Well, their stand's down. Um, we have not got a single bump, and there were those other guys on that drift boat. They fished for an hour and nothing, and they said everyone they talked to nothing. So we might be wasting our time. For some reason, the lake is shut off. It was decent back where we were just you know, fishing from the shore, but then it died, so... I don't know, hopefully we can get at least one on the boats. That's a lot of work for nothing. Finally a fish, man. <laughs> I've not had a bump. Pretty much right at the surface, dude. Yeah, it's a little rainbow, I think. my boat net because I forgot it. Needed a rainbow. Man, it's about time. Yeah, nice. Just a rainbow probably. Uh, is it a rainbow? No, it's a cut. I thought it was a rainbow. It's 15 inches maybe. At this point I'll take anything. <laughs> Buddy. I forgot my boat net. So this is there we go. There we go. Oh he's a uh, he's bigger, he's maybe 17, 18 ish. Oh, about time. Oh I am dragging on the ice. Gotta go. Oh, so, wait, thanks, buddy. Which, I haven't had a bump, that's it. Yeah. That's all there is. Been, so. Dan finally got him on. Little rainbow. Yeah, I've had got the one, had two other bumps, and that's it. And then Dan just cut that. But he's on the board. Good job, Dan. Oh, it's calm now. Fish just jumped in between us, and I cast right where he jumped, and he actually took my, my leech. Surprisingly, he got off. I kicked my boat up onto the ice to anchor it off. Cast along the edge, and finally got another fish take because it has been mega slow. Another cut. Oh, 
Oh, I wish I had my long net. Oh, there we go. Right under there. Oh, nice. It's only fish number two from the boat. Two bumps and then this guy. Come on. He's wrapped around like his little steel plate thing. There we go. Oh, come on. That's kind of... What's that? I think so. You're off. I think you're off. Oh, I think so. Uh, nope, you're on me. <laughs> Hold on one second. No. Anyway, let this guy go. My excellent casting friend there got me. What? How did you just cast this way or what? No, I'm oh, shoot. I, I didn't realize you were drifting that way. Oh. Anyway, there we go. Slowly. Probably can't see because he's clear down there, but Dan's got him another one on a Jake's spindler. So they'll make two for him. There'll be two each. So, anchor to, you can't see it. Uh, I used a bungee cord to anchor to the ice. My feet were getting cold. It kept drifting me away, so it's working. I'm getting, cut the one and I had two others on just dragging along the edge of the ice, so. Keep doing this because my feet are cold. Dan's got him another one. He's trolling with the Jakes. Fortunately, I'm not close enough for you to see it, and I can't even see it. But it's number three for Dan. I have to call it quits because once again my feet are fucking freezing. Dan made it sound like we weren't going to be here very long, so I only have one pair of socks on. Hindsight, I would have wore thicker socks. It's a good thing on a pontoon boat you can keep your feet out of the water for at least a while. But um, I only caught the two. I had two like on on and like two other bumps. And I think Dan caught three. It was surprisingly slow. Of course, I don't know. We did better over just by Chicken Creek where we were just fishing from the shore. But I don't know, it was a good time. It's nice to get out with all this crazy stuff that goes on. So anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Even if you hated it, you should like and maybe subscribe. Definitely like it because then it will be suggested to people you don't like. So it's a win-win. You see what I'm saying?